Hi and welcome back to the Mark Harp YouTube channel. In this short video we're going to take a look at adjustable zig rig bites. Okay so I'll cover adjustable zig rigs in full in future what tackle to use and length of hook lengths and stuff like that but for now this is a quick drawing I've done of the adjustable zig rig that I use. As you can see the main line comes straight down from the rod tip to the lead which is on the bottom of the lake. The lead's running lead and it goes straight up to an inline zig float and then a hook length to your bait. Like I said I'll cover this setup in full with what gear I use and what bait I use and stuff like that length of hook lengths in another video. But for now the rig works similar to a marker float. You can pay line out and the float will rise in the water along with your bait or you can take line in and pull the float and your bait down and this enables you to search the layers to try and find the carp. This is my setup I'm using at the moment. On the left you can see me bobbins on the floor. This is because I'm fishing a rig close in, in the margins with slack lines and I'm fishing on the bottom with a boilie. The rod on the right, as you can see, the indicators at the top of the needle and this is nice and tight and this is how you fish zigs. It's cast out into the middle and the float's been paid up to a certain level in the water and it's just sitting there the floats holding the bobbin up and it's all guitar string tight and a big tip from this video is the actual zig bite itself look at this as you can see it's just a bleep on the alarm and a gentle knock on the rod tip and that on an adjustable zig rig is a full-on bite that's a proper run and if you get a bite like that with a zig on an adjustable float my advice to you is hit it and the reason you get a lot of bites like this with adjustable zig rigs is the sheer length of line that's from the lead to the bait on this example i'm using 18 feet roughly in 20 feet of water that's an awful lot of line 18 feet and when the fish takes the bait it's got to travel a long way before you get a screaming run so most of your zig bites will be just single bleeps and a knock on the rod tip. If you're interested in the left hand rod, which is fish slack lines down the margins, check out this video on winter carp rigs. And I'll be back with another video soon. Take care and tight lines.